Oh no! Oh, hey. No! Oh. Stay out. There we go. And a dude. And, oh wow, an armored spider jockey. With... Yeah, if you're gonna shoot, shoot him. That'd be great. I don't have to deal with this. Come on, you're my human shield. <laughs> That's right. No, no, don't. No, stop. Ah. Spoiled it. It's interesting how the spider is not aggro, but the armored skeleton is. And he's also not burning in the daylight. Wow, I just noticed that. <laughs> Thanks, human shield. No, no, no. Ow. It's definitely daytime. I wonder why he wasn't burning. Maybe his armor saves him? You're hurting me! Stop it! <laughs> oh well. So I've been doing a bit of renovating in my tunnels. Make it a little uh, safer and easier to navigate. And I've come out here to... whoops. Come out here to add some more ores to my system. Get out of here. Okay. While I'm here, let's take a while. That's getting pretty full. Definitely going to have to do something about this. Um, but I said I would be renovating my achievement hall, so I'll do that first. But yeah, I've been digging out the tunnels while smelting some stone, so I can make some stone bricks. And I've got quite a lot. Where's my furnace? Let's throw that in there. I've just been smelting everything. I threw 40 something coal in. And yeah, that's all the smooth stone I've got so far. Let's see. Oh, there is cobble in there. I've got that. Just so I can keep this topped up until it's done. So I'll quickly show you what I've got going off this way. I also made a discovery with the flax here. It grows too tall, and if you harvest the top of it, it won't grow again. So once it's fully grown, just like wheat, you got to harvest it all out and replant it. Anyway, we have here a stairway down. Doesn't have its half slabs yet. Hey, dude. To our zombie grinder. I widened, widened this a little bit, and I've also reopened up back here. I'm thinking of putting some chests in here. Gotta stop doing that. Chest in here for storage of zombie flesh and whatever else. I had a leftover um, dirt half slab thing. I'll show you what I did with those when I get to the achievement hall. Uh, what else have I done? I widened this and made it a little more standard. But I have to block that off again because that's still completely unsafe out there. Uh, yeah, that one. I know things can fly over that, but that's okay. Uh, I used to get here from that way, but I don't need to anymore. Another one of you guys. Up the top here, I've also got this hollowed out. And I've made a direct path to the farm. The path used to go up and over this. And you come out this way. But now it goes straight through. Oh, it goes straight through here. Uh, down here is the ravine, which I still haven't explored. That's pretty much all I've done in here so far. I should probably put some light up here. Yeah, that'll do. Once all of this coal has been used up, I'm going to take all of my stone over to the achievement hall and start 
working on my interior design. Hey, Frankie. Frankie's gonna need a bigger pen one day. That's just cruel. I'll give him some light too. Just not enough space for a creature so big. Anyway, I'll wait for this to be done, and I'll see you at the achievement hall. Back at the achievement hall, I have to show you this here. This is what I did with the with these blocks. I've got the uh, the half dirt ones around and half stone ones. Looks a little bit better now because the floating castle was kind of sitting on a, a layer of dirt. I don't know if I can cut a grass block in half and have grass across the top there. I don't have silk touch to get a grass block to find out. Also not sure if grass will grow on that. I don't think I could be bothered waiting to find out. The other thing I did was corrected my sign. Yeah, I did that in episode 12, not 11. 11 was when I found the castle. Anyway, so what I'm thinking for these is have an archway that goes up and over each of these individual monuments and then larger ones that come up from the front of these that go across the entire hall. I may even dig up a little bit further and have a second layer and then have a staircase somewhere to get up there. I have like a, a double story museum thing going on. So I brought plenty of stone bricks to at least get some of them done. I've also got my hand saw so I could chop them in half and see what interesting designs I can make. So I'll get started on that and I'll be back in just a moment. So here's what I've ended up with. I have this nice archway over the top. Obviously I'm going to need some sort of lighting up there just to make it look better. I'm thinking maybe some sort of chandeliers in between the archways because there'll be one archway there which means the chandelier can hang here and there'll be another one here. And I'm going to reproduce that archway over the door there as well. And I'm going to redo that door because that's just too blocky. The individual alcoves have this arch. I tried all sorts of things. Do I even have... No, I even went uh, on smaller than these blocks. So these little corner things that take up like that much space. I couldn't get them to work so I just decided to go without them. Um, these pillars here, I've got a few different options. Uh, the marble's not too bad. Uh, stone bricks, I think it doesn't quite look right the way that the textures fit on those little blocks and also that's just way too much grey. Uh, stone, regular smooth stone, that's not too bad. It doesn't have the dividing lines that the bricks do and it's got a little bit more colour but still very grey. Or the wooden option. Uh, later on when I get obsidian I might even try putting some obsidian pillars in there just to see what they look like. For now though, I'm thinking maybe the marble. I think I like the marble the best out of these ones. So yeah, I'm going to reproduce those on all of these little alcoves and the big ones on the sides. And I was thinking that here I'd have a two wide staircase that leads up to the next level. Uh, possibly also goes over around to this side because this side two by two can be down to a level underneath. That way I don't have one continuous long haul of two levels, I could have a continuous long haul of three levels. I haven't got anything up here yet. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Once I've got all of that done, I'll be right back, I'll show you. And then we'll move on to something else. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> um, hmm. That didn't quite work out as well as I planned it. And it's night time too. Let's see if I get my stuff back. Oh, don't you do it. Oh, there's a guy with a sword, another armor chasing me. How nice. Must have hit that tree there with my enderpearl. Hmm. 
Ow, what? Oh, go away. Runner as well? This is not going at all well. Why is my sword not in my hotbar? There we go. Phew, that was close. I don't have everything though. No. Where's the rest of my stuff? Can't see it anywhere, it means it's gotta be down here. Well, apparently I went splat big time. Ouch. Oh, go away. I don't know if that's everything. Gotta get out of the water before I drown. Oh, there's something. Oh, I had to get all the way over here. There's no piranhas. No. I can't see any stuff either. Well, hopefully that's everything. Let's try and not do that again. And I'm a little disoriented. Which way do I go? Oh, there we go. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, that was almost just as bad. And back down we go. Here we are. I have all of my archways finished in the roof. And all the ones on the side are done. We've got our marble pillars in the middle of everything. It's looking like a much more impressive hole now. And over here, I've got the beginnings of my staircase. To the second floor. Now I'm thinking maybe of trying iron railings along here to stop myself from falling off. I'd like to have some wood around somewhere, possibly a dark wood. So I may need to find some pine trees. So I don't think I want to just continue the stair, uh, stone bricks all across there. I want to try it with some wooden half slabs instead. Woof. Uh, this here just fits in its little area which I'm pretty glad for. The half slabs would be, I think, half a block above those stairs there, so that'll fit just fine. There we have it. That's my achievement hole. Invaded again. Where did it go? I've killed so many of those little guys. I really like this area. Anyway, that's the achievement hole done for now. I'm not decided on what I want to do in these in-between bits. I might clear them out entirely. I might put um, like continue these bricks across the bottom and then put some iron railings in between. Um, some glass panes, maybe. I don't know how that would look. There he is. Ah! I was ready for him. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to try a few things. See what looks good, what doesn't. But for now, I'm going to head back home and see if I can get a bit better smelting operation going. I only have that one iron furnace at the moment. And while it's nice and efficient, it takes one coal for ten items, whatever I want to smelt. I uh, want to get a little more automatic because that ore chest is raining and it's night time. The ore chest is getting quite full of dust, and that needs to be smelted. There's a werewolf. Good thing we can do this. There we go. Whoa. 
There's a dude with a bow and some leather armor. To fight or not to fight? Actually, first we'll go in here. And eat. Actually, that's all copper. I don't have anything else, so I can just stick these straight into the macerators. Which I did before. I uh, got some iron in that one. Here we go. Yeah, that's getting really full. Now that'll fill up this spot here and start the next one. I really need to do something about that. So I'll do that now. Oh, look, the sun's coming up. Where is this guy? There he is. Ow! Alright, that's it. You're gonna die. If you just left me alone, then it would let you live. But no, you had to start something. Alright. Now I'm gonna see if I can turn this into an electric furnace and hook it up to my system outside. But I think I might need to smelt some things first. So I'll gather some materials. I don't think I have any pre-smelted ores aside from this iron ingot. I have no idea where this came from, truth be told. Maybe I got it from a zombie. I do have some stuff in here. Well, that may be enough. Well, there's a lot more than I thought. Alright, well I'll get some materials together and I'll see what I can't do.